and they're off and racing for the feature race on day three. The Labrooks World Hurdle, Cole Harden and Rev de Sibylla stride with purpose towards the first of a dozen obstacles. With we'll See You at Midnight racing in a handy position and Tom Portu, Lieutenant Colonel and Safir Durer just track the leaders in the early stages. Out wider is uh, Jetson as they rise at the first and Tom Portu is a little clumsy but they all get to the other side safely. And early on amongst the back markers, Abyssal and also Zaid Poor well back in the field with Tiger Roll as the leader Cole Harden and Rev de Sibylla rise at flight number two. Over in third place, see you at midnight, just edging in now behind the leaders, getting a little bit of cover. With Jetson in fourth place, Safir Durer comes next as the leader Cole Harden strides over the next at Fisher's Cross. Made a mistake there back in the field at Fisher's Cross, a little clumsy over that obstacle. So the order as they swing left-handed and on towards the fourth sees Cole Harden leading by a length from Rev de Sivilla. Two lengths back to see you at midnight with Jetson on the outside of the grey Safir Durer. Lieutenant Colonel ahead of Zar Kander as they approach flight number four with Untan Portu racing on the outside of Oberzon. Monksland on the outside of the white face of Blue Fashion as the leader takes flight number four. Whispers two-thirds of the way back through the field uh, tracked by At Fisher's Cross then Tiger Roll Zaidpur in no hurry and likewise Abyssal early on. So a pause from the jumping now as they'll turn left-handed and begin the descent and Cole Harden leads by two lengths from Rev de Sivilla with a similar break to see you at midnight in third place. Jetson's bright orange jacket on the outside of Safir de Ruhr and then Anton Portu and Lieutenant Colonel. Zarkanda on the inside of Blue Fashion Whisper traveling three wide as they run down the hill. Also a little deep on the course at Fisher's Cross off Blue Fashion and Abyssal and Zaidpur still the back marker just preceded by Tiger Roll as they run down and begin to forge towards flight number five. Cole Harden now just allowed to point his toe, extends the lead to about four lengths as they take the fifth over Rev de Sibylla in second place. See you at midnight closer there. A mistake by Monksland back in the field, just gave it a belt, but so far there have just been minor blemishes and the field are all still intact as they turn back towards home and this long run towards flight number six. Cole Harden cutting out the running at a decent pace in the Labrooks World Hurdle, leads by three lengths from Rev de Sibylla. See you at midnight, Black Jacket in third ahead of Jetson, Safir de Ruhr is away towards the inside and Tom Portu on the outside of the Keen in cheek pieces, Lieutenant Colonel. Behind these is Zar Kanda with Oberzon mid field ahead of Whisper, big white face of blue fashion, pink jacket of Monksland, then at Fisher's Cross in the headgear, Tiger rolls noseband and then uh, still towards the back, Abyssal and Zaid Poor as the leader strides over that flight in front of the stands, at which Abyssal just gave it a clout. So Cole Harden has led them throughout the first circuit in the Labrooks World Hurdle and begins to turn away from the stands, leading by four lengths from Rev de Sibylla in second. See you at midnight ahead of Anton Portu, then Safir de Ruhr and Jetson next. Zarkanda's right up the inside at the moment of Lieutenant Colonel, whispers three wide round that turn. Blue Fashion on the inside of Oberzon and Monksland, then at Fisher's Cross, Tiger Roll, Abyssal and still towards the tail of the field is Zaid Poor. So now these next three flights of hurdles will come pretty quickly and Cole Harden will lead towards it. Cole Harden from Rev de Sivilla about three lengths away as they take the first away from the stands. Cole Harden just clouted it but doesn't lose too much momentum and still has the lead. So Cole Harden by two lengths from Rev de Sivilla. See you at midnight then in Tom Portu. Zarkanda travelling strongly with Safi Durer's stable companions. Again Cole Harden takes a little bit of a liberty with that flight of hurdles and they're now massing in the leader's slipstream. So racing towards the fourth from the finish, but still a long way from home. Cole Harden over in front from Rev de Sivilla. The field are all tightly bunched and none of the riders really showing uh, a massive amount of anxiety at this stage. See you at midnight and Rev de Sivilla head the chase behind Cole Harden. Zarkander alongside Safir de Ruhr, Lieutenant Colonel continuing to tank through the race. And Tom Portu pushed along towards the outside. Then Jetson, Oberson trying to make some ground. Blue fashion, Whisper still ridden patiently. Then at Fisher cross as they climb the hill towards three from the finish. Cole Harden it was who led over it. Again at the back of the field Abyssal landed slightly on all fours so now this run down towards the second last. Cole Harden it is who shows the way. Cole Harden by a length from Rev de Sibylla. See you at midnight running a big race in third on the inside of Anton Portu. Safir Durer the pink jacket on the inside of Zarkanda then Lieutenant Colonel Jetson Whisper's been forced wide on the course four deep on the outside of Blue Fashion as they all jostle for position on the run down 
come towards the second last. Cole Harden leads. Red de Sibola pushed along. Un Tompo to see you at midnight. Zarkander traveling notably powerfully back in the pack. Then Safir Dura, Lieutenant Colonel. Whisper making ground towards the outside of Jets. Nat Fisher's cross is following him. A lot of chances too from home. Cole Harden still in front. Zarkander makes a bad mistake. A serious one just when he was beginning to improve. See you at midnight moves through into second place. Un Tompo to Safir Dura. Rev de Sibola, Zarkander given time to recover, then Whisper and Jetson behind these. Cole Harden is still out in front. See you at midnight. Whisper now coming with a challenge. Safir Dura towards the far side, but Cole Harden is battling on well and still leads the world hurdle field. Safir Dura in second place. Then see you at midnight. Whisper and Tom Bortu, Zarkander and Nat Fisher's cross, but down towards the last. Cole Harden is going to have a three length lead over Safir Dura. Cole Harden is over. Safir Dura with two lengths to find. Then Zarkander and a Fisher's cross. Cole Harden has been out in front the whole way. The wind operation is going to work and Cole Harden will make every single yard. Cole Harden wins the Labrooks World Hurdle. A punch of the air by the rider Gavin Sheehan for Warren Great Tricks. Safir Dura second tight third Zarkander. That mistake at a crucial stage involved with that Fisher's cross and Tom Bortu and Whisper.